Air tools are some of the most useful tools in any home workshop. They provide better power to weight ratios, run cooler, and are cheaper to purchase than their electrical counterparts. To run any air tool, you'll need an air compressor, but any old compressor just won't do. The air compressor that you choose is dependent on what kind of air tools you'll be using. More on that in a minute. 240 volt air compressors work by compressing air using an electric motor to a pressure around 115 pounds per square inch. Now when you use your air tool, the compressed air is released and shoots out of the tank to power the tool. Once the pressure in that tank is lowered, the pump automatically begins repressuring the tank. We stock a great range of Blackridge air tools and compressors designed to work together seamlessly. To find out which tools match which air compressor, you need to know the LPM requirements of the tool you'll be using. LPM is the litres per minute of compressed air needed to run the air tool effectively. All Blackridge air tools come with this LPM reading on the packaging to make it easier to match the air tool to the compressor. Now, you can also pick up this Blackridge brochure in store. On the back is a handy chart showing which tools match which compressor. This is the Blackridge two horsepower compressor and it's perfect for basic home use. It can easily run brad nailers, air hammers, as well as inflating tires and other items. Sitting in the middle of the range is the Blackridge 2.5 horsepower high flow compressor. It allows you to start using workshop tools as well as fastening, painting and surface preparation tools. For professionals or those after top of the range, the Stanley 2.5 horsepower belt drive compressor is the choice for you. The belt drive design increases efficiency over direct drive models. Designed to work with high powered air tools, it's the choice for all DIY and trade jobs, including spray painting and other large jobs. Now, once you've chosen the right air compressor, remember these few simple tips for easy use and maintenance. Try to avoid extension leads. If you have to extend your compressor's reach, it's recommended to use a longer air hose. Avoid using the air tool while the pump is operating to ensure the compressor stays within its recommended duty cycle. Wait until the pump has stopped before continuing work. To keep your air compressor in running order, remember to clean condensation from the tank daily and the air filter weekly. Now that you have a better understanding of choosing an air compressor, why not drop into your local super cheap auto to pick up your choice today? Thanks for watching, and remember, we're here to help.